Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Art of Photography. My name is Ted Forbes. Start these the same way every time, don't I? Anyway, hey, gotta kick the video off somehow. Uh, today, I wanted to share something with you that it's an idea I've been working on for a long time, probably about the last year, and I think it might be a good time to do it. Uh, you know, if you uh, have been following the podcast for a long time, we're getting near episode 100, which will be kind of cool. Um, and, you know, if you include the vlog, the Masterclass Live, the little special edition videos I've done, everything else, I mean, we're up over 120 videos now, so it's a lot. And, uh, you know, uh, I've spent the summer kind of trying some different things. You probably have noticed I'm um, trying to change things up a little bit, and I think this idea might be a good one and about a year ago I started thinking about this and I thought you know you know is, is a photographer not not the tutorial guy with the videos here but just in terms of my own work um, you know I've been trying to think of ways I could push my own work up to the next level and how I can start you know thinking about what I do a little bit differently and take that more seriously and, and one of the things I thought about is you know um, I don't do photography for a living but it would be really cool if I were able to approach galleries and and kind of start going at that um, you know all the guys that I look up to uh, you know have have had successful gallery careers and not that I'm on that level but but you know how could I push my own work in those terms and one thing that's particularly appealing to me about that is is doing gallery work um, you tend to work more in editions more in sets more in series type stuff and you know rather than just shooting one-offs all the time and that's something that's really appealing to me and so I kind of thought about it and and part of the problem is is I don't have time to do the traveling that it would take and uh, maybe some of that's just excuses I don't know um, but recently there's a film that I saw on Netflix I'll put a link in the show notes so you guys can check it out um, it's a documentary, um, and I can't, the name escapes me who made it right now, um, but it's a documentary called Press, Pause, Play. I don't know if you've seen it or not, uh, but essentially this documentary um, explores some of the notions of what it is to do creative work in today's era. And by that I mean, you know, here we are well into the internet. Uh, there have been, you know, a small number of people who figured out how to have success online, but if you look at certain industries, and this is what the movie picks apart, in terms of like you know people who make films, uh, the music industry, the print industry, a lot of those things are are changing rapidly, and you know they've had hard times. They've started to dissolve in some ways, but the irony is that we have this tool of the internet that. You know, not that everybody knows how to use it, but it does level that playing field because it gives you a tool that you can get your name out there, get recognition, and so on and so forth, um, and and have as much success as the work you're willing to put into it. So, anyway, one of the things I've thought about recently after seeing that movie, I've been thinking about it, and I think maybe it would be interesting. And I thought more about it, and I thought this would be really interesting to share as part of the podcast. And so, what I want to do is build an online gallery for my own work. And I can sell stuff through there, but anyway, that's going to be kind of the hub where I'm going to really um, push the work that I do, um, really come up with an end result, which is a print out of it, and you know, take it from there and see where it goes. This is very different than social media or Flickr or even my own portfolio website which hadn't been updated in eons and and I think it would be a, an interesting project to do and I think it would be an interesting project to share because there is a business side to all of this which I will be the first to admit that that I am not a professional at and uh, while I'm very amateur and have some ideas this is going to be a huge learning experience and a source of trying to figure things out for me so you know we won't cover this every time on the show but I would like to kind of visit this off and on and talk about the progress being made and you know the other nice thing about this is is you know I, I've learned this from the podcast and from my own website that it does take a while to build something uh, from a marketing perspective and be able to kind of start doing that kind of work and get it to a point where you're having some success with it so it's going to take some time I understand that uh, it could very well fail this could be a failed project and one thing that I know you know in my years of experience doing this is that you learn more from your failures than you do from your successes sometimes and so I think it would be a great learning opportunity so I've scribbled down some notes in the last couple of days and I've been looking through these and trying to figure out you know where I want to go and I'm just kinda of giving you an overview of what we're gonna do on here today um, it might be interesting if anybody's interested in doing this themselves this might be a fun project to kinda of work along with and share your own experiences with I think you know I'm willing to do that and you know we're on this together you know, to give you a cliche phrase there but uh, but it's true and you know this is something that I don't think has been explored uh, to a huge extent yet and I'm not talking about putting just a bunch of junk online and trying to sell product so to speak I'm trying to take my own work seriously and see if there's something that I can do there that you know at best might provide some extra income 
uh, you know, is a huge learning experience and, you know, makes us all smarter as photographers too. So anyway, it's, it's very appealing to me. Um, just some of the things I thought about that need to start and, and, and kind of deal with, if you know, if you're going to build an online gallery, you've got the whole branding aspect of it, which is important. Um, the product aspect of it, which is very important because, you know, um, as you guys know, I do a lot of videos for this and, uh, that is my main focus. And I, uh, you know, there's, there's only a limited amount of time left. So really trying to find a way to wrangle that and get that nailed down into something specific and I just wrote down some you know some ideas for things um, another thing that that I think is kind of cool while we're on the product subject here is I have a friend who runs a, an art gallery in Dallas and they've they've had quite a good success over the years and it's it's an art gallery so they have it's not just photography it's paintings and sculptures and everything and they handle some some pretty big name artists <clears throat> and I was talking to Brian and, and he said that you know um, one of the things he really believes in, and I, I just, I wish I could call this my own because it's such a wonderful way of looking at it, but uh, one of the things that he's able to do is a gallery that makes him successful, but uh, on a level, but but one of the things he really believes in is this democratization of art. So, you know, if you're going to sell something, having something that's even $100 that anybody can have access to is really important. And I think that's important for what I do too. So, you know, I've thought of like, you know, kind of one-off unique things like photograms and stuff, obviously framed editions and things that, that, that would be taken more seriously and, and you know, push me um, not only behind the lens, but in the darkroom as well. So um, that's very appealing. Um, then there's the big stuff that are the big questions. You know, you have all that to deal with. Then there's a customer profile, you know, who buys and collects photography and who would be interested in what I do. And I think that's a huge huge open-ended question that <laughs> is going to require a lot of, of, of discovery, a lot of research. And, you know, think of your own work like that too. You know, if you're half serious about, even on a part-time level, being able to, uh, you know, make extra money at it or, or be able to make that marketable, you know, I think that's the number one question is who is it? Um, I, I certainly don't think it's other photographers really, but, um, uh, you know, who, who is interested in that and how far can this go? Um, there's an entire marketing aspect of it. You know, you can't just throw a website up and expect it to be a success. It's going to require a lot of work. Um, this is something I've been interested in really at the top of the summer, mainly for the Art of Photography podcast, because one of the the things that's kind of weird for me is that because I've always done video and I've had a website, I don't write a lot of, or t didn't before write a lot of text to go along with those videos. My descriptions were bad. I didn't do a lot of keyword. I didn't take that seriously. And as a result, your stuff isn't very searchable. And so that's one thing, you know, at the top of the summer that I started, which was trying to be more descriptive and not just cut and paste stuff from YouTube onto the website and, you know, make them each different. I don't have to write a 500 word essay, but, you know, at least describe what the video is about, provide some links, that kind of thing. So we'll get into marketing. And I've done a lot of research on that this summer, and I'm by no stretch of the imagination very good at it yet, but it's one thing I'm, I'm willing to get into. Um, then I kind of just on this sheet here, I, I brainstormed because this will suffice for now, but you know, just questions that I have, write them down, see if I can figure out answers to them as, as they come. Um, you know, things to do, uh, and I have a small to-do list of things to get started. And, and, and see, you know, this is obviously a huge thing to wrangle right now, but see if I can get this a little more focused and centered and, and into stuff that's real specific in terms of uh, you know, uh, things to do, tasks, um, you know, et cetera. And a lot of it's defining what I want to do with it because I think just to say that I want to open an online gallery is kind of loose. Um, I think it's loose for anybody to say that. Um, and even photographers who are trying to be professional, particularly in the fine art world, which is very difficult, um, you know, that's a hard thing and to get your work, you know, to a point where you're able to do that. And, uh, you know, anyway, a lot of the guys that I look up to and, you know, maybe it's, I, maybe this would push me to actually contact some of those people and maybe that would be an interesting thing to talk about on the podcast if I could ever interview anybody. We'll, we'll see. I mean, uh, a lot of this is pie in the sky thinking right now. But um, at this stage, I'm really not going to limit it because um, years ago, I... Uh, Oh, I had a friend of a friend kind of thing that, that got me an appointment with um, the gentleman who is dean of the College of Business at Southern Methodist University here in Dallas. Really, really nice guy. At the time, I was doing something different than this, but I was freelancing and I was talking about building a business and, and he gave me some things to think about. We you know, had an hour to talk and, and a lot of that I still remember now. And at the time, and I'll put this in the show notes too, he recommended a book by a guy named Michael Gerber called The E-Myth. And uh, essentially the e-myth basically states that what the e-myth is, is that to be successful, you have to be a master at what it is you're doing. Um, and so, you know, for example, um, you know, the e-myth would be, 
I can't open a restaurant because I'm not a five-star chef. You know, that doesn't make sense. It takes somebody who knows how to run a business to do those things. And he delineates in this book about, you know, the, the, the difference between working in your business and working on your business being two different things. So we'll apply some of those methods and techniques too. Um, I might draw up a loose business plan. I remember asking about business plans in this meeting and, and he said, well, I'll be frank with you. He said, we have MBA students who have to write them for school and people get really hung up in that. Um, Another kind of big Zen moment out of this is he said, you know, most people will write a business plan on a five-year scale and they'll revisit this every five years and, and you know, redraw it or whatever, make adjustments. Uh, and sometimes five years is too long, particularly in this day and age, and maybe it's important to look at it every two or three. So, you know, some things like that that, that you know. Anyway, so I'm willing to share all this and we'll kind of see how this goes. I know this is a little bit shorter episode, even though I think we just hit the 10-minute mark. But... Um, Anyway, some things to think about and, you know, every so often we'll be hitting this in the, in the podcast and, and I'll talk about it and we'll just kind of see where this goes and see where it leads us. And I, I would hope that some of you out there, and believe me, I look at the work that, that you know, if you don't know that we have a Flickr group, we do. Uh, if you watch the old episodes that we used to, to advertise that quite a bit. Um, and looking at some of the work in there and the conversations I've had with folks who sent me their Flickr pages or their website blog or whatever it is, um, there's some people out there doing outstanding work. In fact, I'm pretty humbled to know that some of these people actually watch these videos. It, it kind of blows my mind sometimes because it's like, what do I have to show, you know? Um, but anyway, I think it's great. And I would hope that maybe some of you out there would, would think in terms of this too. So Anyway, just to reiterate, and I'll put links below, the three things that I was talking about media-wise, uh, this movie, Press, Pause, Play, which is excellent. Uh, Seth Godin's in it, too, which I'm a huge Seth Godin fan. Um, a very inspirational guy and, and um, has a very interesting look on things. Anyway, Press, Pause, Play is excellent. Uh, the E-Myth, the Michael Gerber deal. And uh, anyway, we'll talk more about this uh, in future episodes. I just wanted to kind of lay that groundwork now and talk about it and uh, think about your own work. And, you know, my reasons for doing this is to not get rich by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, uh, photography is a very hard thing to make a living at, particularly if you're doing art photography. And I know that going in. Um, the reason I'm doing it is because, it, for discipline reasons, I want an outlet where I can kind of put my own work together and start thinking in about it in a way that is maybe more edition-based, more series-based, rather than just shots here and there. Or, you know, sometimes, and I'll be the first to admit, you get into doing these videos and a lot of the photography that you do is, <laughs> you know, uh, testing and samples for the videos. So anyway, um, so that's what I'm wanting to change, you know, with my own work. So, you know, look at your own work and see if there's anything that, that you could take away from that that's in there for you. And feel free to work along. I don't know how I'll present this yet. Probably what we'll do is we'll have a little special section on the website so you can kind of track the progress and see this as, as it goes. So, and I'm, you know, willing to write all that down and share and be open about it. So, um, I think that's the best way to learn is start a conversation online and try and share it with other people and, uh, and, and be okay with failing, which is okay. Um, you know, my life doesn't depend on this. And, uh, um, we'll see what happens. Uh, if I fail, I learn something. That's the important thing. So it's failing on one condition. So anyway, um, that's about all I got for today. I will see you guys on the next episode. Once again, guys, this has been The Art of Photography, and thank you for watching.